Hey folks, this is Shock. We're going to do a quick Bible study. I'm going to be reading from Matthew. And we'll start at Matthew. Let's start at Matthew 7. No, let's start at Matthew 10. We'll start there. And uh, let me give you a little background on Matthew. Uh, they believe Matthew was a publican, or we would call him a tax collector today. He was a tax collector for the Romans. And most people believe he made a very good living, that he probably had a very profitable position and was considered wealthy. And um, what happens is, and he, he talks about it here, he abruptly goes from serving uh, money, collecting money, to serving Jesus Christ. And so we're going to read about uh, from Matthew. And let's start reading from Matthew 10 and we're going to get right to what was recorded about what Jesus had said. Now another thing I want to show you guys, this is really cool, let me do my laptop here, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you something, uh, we have two chat rooms now at shockonnow.net right there. You might want to pause the video and write this down because I'm going to show you something really neat right there. And when you click enter the chat room, I'm going to go in there right now. Watch what happens. You see all these people in the chat room here? And I have the volume down, but it's a voice chat room. So you, and there's actually a couple rooms that if you have voice, you can, uh, voice, if you have a headset, you don't need one, but if you have a headset, you can talk or you can just go in there and listen to it. These are theists that are actually educating atheists in the room. We're showing atheists the error of their ways so you can go in there and you can listen to us educating the atheist there's a lot of theists here look at all these people in the room and it is free to do that so let's go back to remember you go to uh, shockonnow.net and click here there's two chat rooms so let's get started and let's start here reading from Matthew okay so let's start off um, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely you have received freely give provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses so basically uh, he tells them don't bring anything he says, uh, no script for your journey, ne neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves. For the workman is worthy of his meat. Notice he's saying you deserve to get compensated. You deserve to be taken care of because the gospel is, is, uh, has this value. What could be more valuable than that? Now watch what he says. He says, and whoever shall not receive you nor hear your words... When you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. And then Jesus has a warning for folks that reject the gospel message. Look what he says. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So it's interesting. There's a judgment that comes along to those that reject the gospel. And we know Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Uh, and Jesus is saying that for the city that rejects the gospel it's likewise even going to be uh, worse than that he says behold I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves and then he tells them be aware though men will deliver you up into councils they will scourge you in the synagogues you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So he's telling them, look, um, you're going to suffer, but you're going to speak the truth of the gospel. He says, but when they deliver you up to speak, uh, you know, when they deliver you up, take no thought of what you shall speak. In other words, don't worry what you're going to say. He says, for it shall be given you in that time, that hour, what you shall speak. You, the Spirit will tell them what to say. Now, let me jump ahead here because I'm running out of time, but I want to read something to you, which is, which is excellent. He now talks about how important you and I are to God. He says, and by the way, you know that chat room I was just showing you? Sometimes we'll have atheists come in there and they respect me and they'll respect people so much, 
but they're extremely disrespectful and hateful towards God. And um, Jesus would have a message to people like that right here. And I always ask them, I go, why is it that you like respect me and you're nice to me and stuff, but you're so hateful and, and spiteful towards God, actually spitting in God's face and stuff? Well, look what Jesus says here. He's got a message for people that are like that. He says, fear, fear them not, therefore. In other words, don't be afraid, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. But then he says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Well, who's that? That's man, mankind. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And then he goes on to say, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, uh, you know, like very inexpensive money to buy them. And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father uh, so basically, he's saying that even, you know, God is seeing things that we may not value that much as having a lot of value. He said, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. For you know not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Now, here he talks about where he will deny people in front of God, and he will... Uh, confess you in front of God. So look what he says here, another warning. He says, and I'm reading from um, Matthew 10, 33. This is serious, guys. He says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. So on the day of judgment, if we've spoken up about Jesus Christ and we stood up for Jesus Christ, and this gospel of truth that we're reading from right now, Jesus will stand up for you. But if we don't, notice Jesus says, I will also deny him before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword, for I come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. You know, we saw this recently on YouTube where that a uh, young Islamic girl, that young Muslim girl, I should say, she became a Christian and she was afraid that, you know, they were going to do one of those honor killings, you know, against her. So, we, you know, Jesus' prophecy coming true there. Now, check this out. They asked for proof and evidence from Jesus Christ to prove that he is the Messiah because the Messiah was uh, prophesied to come and people would receive their sight the lame people would walk lepers would be cleansed the deaf would hear etc right well look what happens here they ask him it says now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ so John's in prison and he sends two of his disciples to ask Christ if he's the Messiah and said unto him art thou he that should come or do we look for another so uh, Jesus is doing so many wonderful works here that they're thinking this guy's the Messiah and Jesus provides them with proof and evidence that he is the Messiah he says go and shoe which is show go and show John again those things which you do hear and see the blind do receive their sight the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them and blessed is he who uh, whosoever shall not be offended in me okay almost done I can I'm gonna do it no longer than 15 minutes here okay let's read ahead and let's see what we could this is really interesting here I guess we'll end it here Jesus is talking about people that hear the gospel but their hearts are so hardened and callous that they're they reject it and he 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 has this beautiful parable of what that's like he says he that hath ears to hear let him hear in other words he's going to say what i'm going to tell you is very important like if you have ears use them <laughs> this is very important 
He says, but whereunto shall I liken this generation? And this is so apropos for our times in 2011. He says, in other words, he's like, what is this generation like? What should I compare it to? And he, look what Jesus says. He says, it is likened to children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. You know, like calling to their friends, hey, let's go out and play and stuff like that. He says, and saying, we have piped unto you, you know, making music, and you have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a devil, John the Baptist, that preceded Jesus Christ. The Son of Man, Jesus is always referred to the Son of Man, came eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. Remember, Matthew was a publican, you know, tax collector. But wisdom is justified of her children. And now, Jesus starts prophesying because he knows about these people that they will be judged. And it says, Then began he to upbraid the cities where most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. So here Jesus uh, is over there preaching to them to repent. Notice they repented not, and some of the cities weren't listening to him. So he starts saying, and he's he's basically saying it with a loud voice, Woe unto the Chorazin, woe unto the Bethsaida. He's going through these cities. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment, there he is again with the day of judgment, than for you. And he goes through this, and he's basically lamenting about the judgment that will, that will come upon them. Now, the people that accepted Jesus Christ as the Messiah, look what he says. Jesus stops, he says a prayer, he says, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. So the people that were kind of haughty, arrogant, you know, acting like they're all intellectuals and stuff, um, God basically revealed himself unto babes, you know, the people that were innocent, that were um, humble, that were open to the gospel. Even so, Father, Jesus says, For so it seemed good in thy sight, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whom ever the Son will reveal him. And then, uh, I guess we'll end it right here. This is the message that Jesus has for every one of us, and for you, you also, of course. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. And as an ex-atheist, let me tell you, it's so true. I have found rest for my soul. Jesus ends it, for my yoke is easy and my burden is is light so god bless you guys um check out our chat let's go back in there and see what's going on remember you go right here shock on now dot net the top one right here the net the dot net one and then click enter chat room let's see who's in there <laughs> there's always people in there here they are lots of people in there and um you could type down here and then these are little icons here. Watch, I'll show you something. See how I can move the icon around like that? And um, you can move your icons on. People putting links there where you could uh, learn different things. But you have not listened to something interesting and entertaining until you've been in this chat room and you've listened to atheists and theists reason together. It usually goes pretty good. They don't argue that much. So I'll see you guys here. Shockonnow.net they're in there now go to the top chat room there if you want to meet your friends and talk privately we have another chat room that's chat room number two and don't forget to get your free bible here also 
where it says uh, the entire Bible on audio. God bless you guys. Have a great week.